Okay, Webflow just released their Webflow Optimize feature. This is something I've personally been waiting for ever since I heard about the acquisition of Intellimize just a few months ago. And for me, this just confirms that Webflow is definitely heading in the right direction of being a website platform purpose-built for B2B companies. So for those that don't know what Webflow Optimize is, it's basically gonna allow in-app functionality to do A-B testing, website personalization, and then there's some really cool AI powered things that you can do within those. So Webflow just also released their category that they're starting, this website experience management. And I think this really lines with this because it's really empowering marketers to take ownership of the website and create super powerful websites that they can actually own themselves. So I just wanna make a quick video overviewing Webflow Optimize, how to set it up, how to get it started, so you can start playing around with it on your own Webflow website. All right, so just starting off here, this is Webflow's own product page talking about Webflow Optimize. Just wanna do a quick overview, going into a little bit more depth about what it is, but basically it's saying that we can run experiments quickly and easily, A-B testing basically, um, to learn quicker, we can scale multiple experiments at a time. Looks like there's manual tests and AI optimized tests. We can do multiple tests at a time and it looks like we can do new tests and then also new personalizations here and run five at a time. All right, so down here we're getting into the more of the personalization features. So super powerful stuff here to give custom experience to your visitors. This is great for ABM campaigns if you can import your data about your customers to give them the content that you actually want to show them. And it looks like we can kind of track our performance here. Going down a bit more, there's some value prop stuff, but kind of want to go into the pricing and talk about this a bit more. So this is starting at $300 a month. So I've heard from people, they think that this $300 a month is way too much, but honestly, if you have enough website traffic and you're doing ABM type marketing, $300 a month for personalization and experimentation software is super generous and actually affordable. And keep in mind, this is starting at $300 a month. If you have a lot more website traffic, it's gonna be more costly. But again, if you have that site traffic, if it's worth it to run experiments and personalization, this is super competitive pricing. If you're looking at things like Optimizely or VWO as other competitors, $300 a month starting price, very, very generous. And if you are looking for something that is just super bare bones, run simple A-B tests every once in a while, you may not have a ton of website traffic to fully utilize all these features, but you do want some A-B testing functionality, I'd recommend checking out something like Optibase. Okay, so you can see here, there's up to five concurrent optimizations, A-B testing, personalization, audience insights, um, audience targeting, and AI optimize. All right, to get started with Webflow Optimize, you're gonna wanna go into your website settings for your specific site that you wanna install it on. Then you're gonna go down to plans right here and then there's going to be this add-ons tab click on that you can then add on analyze optimize here so i've gone in here before and kind of played around with it a bit but basically what's going to look like is you're going to click on get started for me it's just managed because i've already set it up and this goes into a bit more pricing based off monthly page views so i've already signed up just for the base package we don't have a ton of website traffic but just want to play around with this so we can get more familiar with offering this to our clients so once you get it started and paid for, you're gonna go, go to optimize right here and it's gonna put you into your own website. All right, on the left menu bar here, you're gonna see this new thing right here. It's gonna be insights. And so this is where you can look at your analyze data, which I haven't signed up for yet, and then your optimized stuff. If you are signing up for the product for the first time, it's gonna want you to prompt based off your compliance and GDPR, whatever that may be. If you need to always track visitors, let visitors opt out or don't track by default, you're gonna to wanna to figure out what is right for your business and what your compliance needs are. So you're gonna to wanna to turn this on to be able to do the optimization features. So something I wanna call it to, this is public beta. This is not the final version of this product. This is just V1. They just launched this to the public in beta, like I said, I think just like 10 days ago. So right now there is some things that might be missing, some quirks, but for V1, this is super impressive and super powerful. So on the left here, you can build your audiences, your general settings right here. I'm going to jump into the optimization right here and show you what it looks like to set up and run some A-B testing. 
So you're gonna to wanna to click on new optimization on the top right and you see that we have new test or new personalization. We're just gonna do new test and then it gives us the option here to do a traditional test or an AI optimized test. And the big difference between those two is AI will actually decide how to split the traffic to maximize conversions based off the learnings of the data that it gets. So we're gonna trust the, the AI optimized feature here and we're just gonna name this um, you know, home page CTA test and then V2 and create. All right, so you can see here we have our tests. I've played around with this a bit, but we're gonna click on this new one. We created homepage CTA test V2 and it's gonna pull this up right here. We're going to do continue editing. Um, it's gonna bring us into our website. Okay, so on the top left here, you can see some information here about the test we're setting up, the name, you can click on this, and then we have variation one, which we're now going to change and create the first variation of the test. And then the base variation here, this is just the current version of the site. So if you're thinking in A-B testing terms, this is version A, we're now creating version B, and that's what variation one is. The verbiage is a little different how they're saying it in Webflow because it's more optimized focused. So variation one is just like variation B. So we're gonna set up variation one here, and we wanna change the call to action to this video. We want more people to watch this video to learn more about our service, who we are. We wanna change what this says here and kind of test out what's gonna work better. So all we're gonna do is click on the content and then we're just gonna change it. And I'm just gonna change this to is amply right for you. So it's just as easy as that changing. So variation one is now changed. The base variation has that first version of the content already. And you can see here, we can create multiple variations. To keep things simple, I'm just gonna have two variations. And then settings and goals right here, we just want to, the auto goal is what we currently want, which is just click engagement. We wanna see how many people are gonna be clicking on this element. And then we're going to go here and launch all variations now. And you did see that you have this option to just to mark this as ready. So if you're working with other people, you want them to check the work before you launch something. For purposes here, we're just gonna launch this variation and publish the site. So we just gotta go through here, publish all domains like normal. It'll take a few seconds, but then our A-B test will be live and start collecting data. So going back here into the insights panel, we can go to all optimizations and we can see that our homepage CTA test V2 is now live and optimizing. So clicking into the actual optimization, this is for one we just set up just a few days ago. So again, not a ton of data. So this might not be super helpful to look at, but just gives you a great idea of what this actually looks like as the V1 product. So this one, I set up two different variations. We can see that the conversion rate and the sessions tracked per conversion. And then there's a bunch of other helpful things here too. So we can filter things by date range, the goal, and then there's also a bunch of other filters that we can apply here too to kind of refine the data that we're trying to look at. So scrolling down here, we can see by traffic source, and again, we just don't have enough data for this stuff to really populate quite yet. And then down here, we can see performance over time of the three different variations. We can see base variation, variation one and two, and how they're performing against one another. And then this is also an AI optimized test. So this is how they're allocating the traffic over time, how AI is kind of learning based off these three different variations, how to kind of split the traffic and test the different users. So if you are paying to drive a ton of traffic to your website, this is gonna be super worth it. You can quickly implement A-B testing and personalization features on your website to increase your conversion rate. I think it's one of the easiest things to actually invest in to see what is resonating with the people on your website. So you're paying all this traffic to drive to the website. Why are you letting your conversion rate slip by not looking at this kind of stuff, testing what's gonna actually work, what content is better resonating and gonna create more conversions for your company. So is V1 public beta of Webflow Optimize the most built out amazing thing right now? No. Is it super powerful and does it have a ton of potential? Yes. Is it worth investing in now to start learning? Yes. So I'm super ecstatic by the changes I've seen with Webflow to better serve the B2B audience. I think that they're gonna move up market. They are going to be the website experience platform for single page B2B websites all the way up to enterprise level B2B websites. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching.